Striking Scorpion 82 is sponsored by three great games. Warhammer Combat Cards, a card game featuring your favourite miniatures from the 40k universe. Knighthood, a role-playing turn-based game where players control a warrior, fight through levels to gain armour, weapons and loot. And finally, Honkai Star Rail version 1.2, a space fantasy RPG where players experience the galaxy's infinite wonders filled with adventure and discovery. All three games are free to download and play with links in the video description below. Begin your adventure now and enjoy the games. Right, welcome to this Battlefield Terrain tutorial. I'm going to show you step by step uh, in this video how to achieve uh, the terrain setup that you see here uh, in this game. It's like a swamp planned, abandoned, fallout zone uh, style going on here. Some kind of chemical plant that's been bombed out uh, and abandoned. So a real uh, good war zone here for your games of Warhammer 40,000. So as per usual, I'll leave as many links as I can in the video description below. You're welcome to copy uh, this entire setup, or you can take aspects of it uh, for your own games of 40k. So stage by stage, the first step is your foundation. So a uh, battle mat that I've got across here, it's called Swamp. Uh, it's from gamemat.eu. Uh, so mouse mat material rolls out nice and flat. It just rolls out like a scroll. Uh, they come with carry bags as well, so if you're mobile, you're looking to go to a friend's house or a gaming club, you can just roll this up, put it in the bag, and then carry it on your shoulder. So they're brilliant for transporting around, uh, and they roll out dead flat. If you look after them, uh, they'll just give you a nice flat gaming surface every time, and it gives you a kind of colour scheme and base colours to work on. So there's this kind of sort of rotten uh, foliage and material and twigs and, and logs running through here. There's rocks and stones. And also there's some sort of mossy green areas on this battle mat as well. It's not marked with any kind of roads or set uh, structures, so you're able to place your terrain however you want. Uh, so it's sort of that nice, uh, even uh, kind of texture and effect going across the board. The other great thing about battle mats is nice and quiet for rolling dice. Figure friendly as well. If models fall over, they're not going to get scraped and bashed on the softer surface. So that's the mat. I'll put a link for it in the video description below. Uh, it's 60 inches across by 44 inches. Uh, GameMat.eu do a, a very wide variety of battle mats available from them. They also do double-sided mats, so you can get really good value of two designs uh, printed, one on each side, uh, so you can make, mix things up just with the one mat. So after your mat, and that gives you all your colours and, and, and base for this, then looking to build the uh, battle mat up. So. Uh, we're using Fallout Zone Terrain. It's a pre-painted terrain set from GameMat.eu. I've actually used two of them uh, combined together and it fills out the table nicely. So in the one set you get one of those at uh, one corner from a larger building. So it's doubled up here with two sets. So you've got two of those. It works well and you get two of them. You get two of the larger terrain uh, corners across there, the ruins. And then you get a double in the single set. So there's one set there and there's one set across there. Also included is these uh, smaller ruins across here, which you can go single with them, or you can combine them together to make like a lower uh, rise single story building. So that's the detail of those. They sit nicely on this terrain. Uh, and then vital for games of 40K, these will act as ruins. So nice obscuring line of sight blocking terrain pieces uh, here with these. So I've combined two sets together just to fill out, the, as you can see, it fills out the table really well. So I'll put a link for them in the video description below. Along with those links uh, for GameMat.eu is a discount code as well. I think it's 11% so you can get that off uh, of your order from them as well. So really once those things are in position you've got your, your main structure for the board all in place and then to finish it off is like extra bits and accessories just to add some realism to the board and to bring it into the realm of Warhammer 40,000. So I'm using uh, pipes here from Games Workshop. And the great thing about this terrain set is they have molded this to match in with the height of the piping from Games Workshop. So these just fit in exactly right. And I've run it across here and it connects into another one across there. Uh, also, you can see it just connects in there. Great, same height. And I've connected some of them across the other side as well. So 
Those pipes there are from Games Workshop. These running across here uh, as well. These ends are from Games Workshop and they just again tuck into the vents across there uh, for the pipes in those buildings so they're nicely uh, matching up with the GW terrain. There's other accessories on the board, a, a cluster of barrels across here. There's some uh, Games Workshop Admech terrain pieces. These all just add a bit of flavor, just bring the battlefield into the realm of 40k. Uh, there's the battlefield uh, accessories here from Games Workshop. So like tank traps uh, across here. There's another set over there as well, just to make it like a war zone, a war torn kind of effect uh, going on with this board. Some Munitorum armored containers, which fit very nicely on the table as well. Also a big fan of these posters. There's one there, and there's another one just placed on top. There's a tutorial for those. I'll also show you how to make the chain link fences. And also the walkways that you can see, which is a brilliant way of just making it multiple levels on your table. So these walkways are brilliant for uh, as expanses across, or spanning across different terrain pieces. So there's one here, there's one over there, and then a longer one that's stretching all the way across uh, to the other side of the road connecting that room. She's got these walkways. I love having multiple layers uh, for games of 40k. It just looks really good on the board. It just adds another dynamic where you can have units fighting on different levels on the table. So tutorial for this. It's the same process, same materials as the posters, the walkways and the chain link fences, which you're not using on this board, uh, but also uh, it's all rolled into the one tutorial showing how that's done. Uh, that's a separate video. I'll leave a link for that in the video description below. So that's most of the accessories on the ball. There's some final finishing touches. So some sort of washed out browny kind of green toned lichen. Big fan of this stuff. Just to create that ruined kind of effect, just to break up the terrain. Trying to get your terrain to merge in with the board so the terrain looks like it's meant to be on uh, the table. So lichen helps break things up. You tuck it into the corners in here. I've gone upstairs with some of it as well just to really add to the abandoned kind of effect uh, with this and the final finishing touch is just your loose stones these are stones i've got from the beach i've actually sprayed them up with a few colors uh, so some reds and browns being sprayed onto these just putting them in a tray and spraying them up and they seem to fit it's just a bit of a different tone to usual kind of gray sort of red tones going on brown earthy kind of tones going on with that and i just sprinkle them in again just to blend the terrain in to the board and just to add that little bit of extra realism to the table. So that's pretty much how it's done. So batter mat for your foundation, doubling up on the terrain sets and that fills up the board really well and then just after that there's no need for any extra terrain really just looking to add some extra accessories uh, in the form of the pipes, uh, the posters, munitorum containers and so on and the final finishing touch is just to blend the whole thing in with a bit of lichen uh, and some stone scatter on the table. It took me about 15-20 minutes to set up. It'll take about the same 10-15 minutes to pack down. Uh, so quite straightforward and you've got yourself a nice atmospheric board uh, for games of 40k. So that's the video. As per usual I'll uh, fade out here to some music just to catch the atmosphere of this board. Do check out the other videos in this series and keep a lookout for more. Uh, terrain battlefield terrain tutorials on the channel thanks for watching and tune in next time